So my friend's AC unit stopped working uh, a couple of uh, months ago, actually. And this is how I, uh, this video, I'm going to go over how I troubleshoot his gas uh, furnace. But before I show the video on how I did this, I just want to go through the schematics. It's always a good idea to go through the schematic first, understand the unit before you start diagnosing and looking at what's wrong with it. So I color coded everything. Let's start from the red wire. The transformer uh, gives 24 volts AC and it energizes all the way down the common red wire at the thermostat when it calls for heat. That means that when you pu push the switch over from to, to, to heat, it shorts R and W together. The relay shorts R and W. So the 24 volt AC can continue on down the white wire goes down to this connector W and it goes all the way up the black wire and then it goes through all of these different sensors uh, before it gets to the gas valve and if you have 20 if all the sensors are working the gas valve will get energized and the furnace will then uh, be able to, to kick on to have gas and you can see the brown wire continues on and it completes the circuit at the transformer as you will see in this video that all of these uh, switches that we checked, the, the over temperature switch, uh, the fan limit switch, and the f uh, flame rollout switch, all of them should be short because if they're not short, then the gas valve will never receive the uh, 24 volt AC. And as you see in this video, as we measure these switches, all of them are short, uh, close, uh, pretty much zero ohms and however the flame rollout roll out switch was open. So the first thing we did was just pop up the cover and we made sure that the batteries were good. So if I measure from red to white when I measure from red to white I see I have 27 volts AC. Now this is before I call for heat. So this is on off right now. So if I switch this to heat, if I measure between these two points, the relay should click, as you can hear just then. And then the voltage drops to millivolts right now. So let's go over the furnace. Now this is an old school uh, furnace. It doesn't have a electronic control board. All it has is a relay board, and it has this uh, uh, fan limiting switch right here that uh, you can re you can watch more in this other video right here. But basically, uh, it's a mechanical switch that dilates the temperature in the heat box to to the right temperature. So. Just real quick, let's see if we can do this. On the white wire, which is the heat wire, we just follow this line and then it goes all the way down to this sensor right here. We make sure that between these two lines it was short and we follow that wire and went all the way up to this other sensor right here and then we just took off one of the leads and use a DMM to measure, make sure that that sensor was short too, and it was short. Then we follow all the way down that black wire down to this next component, which is a component that was open. Reset it. All I did was just go over here and then just press that, and that button goes down. So as you can see, when it calls for heat right now, since I, we, we fixed it, uh, the furnace comes on. So of course there's a reason why the flame rollout switch triggered. It's there for a safety reason when the burners uh, are dirty or when there's not enough uh, ventilation and when there's not good ventilation, then the, uh, the flames from the burner will roll out and trigger that switch. So again, that switch is there for a safety reason. Um, and a, Next video in the future, uh, what I need to show is that how I clean uh, 
the burners and how to clean inside of the units and after it's all clean then it stopped uh, the flames start rolling out so in the near future please click on this video right here to see how I clean the burners